with Jack Posobiec is here. He's the host of the Human, Human Events Daily podcast, maybe the most popular conservative on Twitter, which has got to be exhausting. It's a, how many hours does it take to be the most popular conservative on Twitter? Well, you know, I, 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 I do get tired every once in a while, and I, I just think, you know, I just, man, I, I'm so tired of this. I just need to get some sleep. And really the rejuvenating rest that's only available to you oh, through the comfortable yet firm my post. No, honestly, it's the, the thing with Twitter is it's it's just a running stream of consciousness. Uh, and, and I always think it's funny that like the best tweets I have are the ones that I don't think about. You just fire it off and go. And then it's, I don't do notes, I don't have a diary, but what I have is a Twitter account. And I just leave it there and that's whatever I was thinking at that time. And I love when some you know, a reporter will come up to me and then they'll say, why did you tweet this on this day, September of 2020? I'm like, because I was thinking about it? Or, or the, why did you tweet this? I actually got this one the other day. Why did you tweet this meme? And I just like, I said, I like memes. <laughs> that's that, I, I like that's memes it, too. Man. Have you ever gotten in big trouble for a tweet? Like, was there ever one where you thought that, that was probably, I probably caused myself a, so I was some wasted time? Um, I mean, I'll put it this way. I don't think there's any ever any wasted time on tweets because they all go out. The, the biggest one ever, though, that got me in the most, you could say trouble, but I didn't think of it as trouble, was when, so all the way back in 17, I was the first guy who tweeted out the Macron leaks. Remember Macron and the emails? And it, they had leaked and there was a dump on 4chan, which I found, I linked to, it goes up, then I'm at like some party in Miami, don't even realize what's going on. I got drudged back when drudge was drudge, and the whole thing's going all over the place. Meanwhile, my phone's bricked, I'm like hanging out, doing stuff, finally go back and check it out. What's going on? And then I've got like, Le Monde is coming after me, Whoa. and uh, you know, the New Yorker is coming wow. out, beating me up, they say, this guy, he's like, they were calling me like the Julian Assange of France and all this stuff, wow. just because over one tweet over one tweet of macro and I went back and looked at it and they were accusing oh this guy clearly Russian in intelligence operation and I said you know it, it, it didn't actually get that many retweets it was like it was like maybe a couple thousand but I you know I do tweets all the time and get a lot more than that it was just that the level of attention that it continued along with and this was um, when Le Pen was running against Macron for the first time so before he had become president and uh, and I remember there was a quote I gave to the New Yorker about it, and then you know French TV crews were coming over to interview me and stuff, and they said, "Did you know it would be that big?" And I said, "Well, sure, I expected it to be big, but I expect all my tweets to be big." Right. <laughs> and, and, and is that the mentality if you want to be good at the medium? Because it does feel like if you you always see a viral tweet, but it's interesting to go to people who fired out the viral tweet mm. and to see all their kind of other drafts because those you don't see because they didn't go viral. And, but you can see that it, it, there is an art to it, and there's an art to it. Well, there You've is an art to it. You've almost got the wording yeah, yeah. right, and you maybe try to get a little different wording. And there's, there's, and, and this is something where if um, I don't know, there's, there's, it's funny. My wife and I went to see this movie. It's called The Menu. If you heard about it, it's yeah, Ray no, Fiennes. I want to see it. It's, it's actually, it's pretty it good. good. It's, it's a good take because it's a take. It's sort of a, it's sort of a dark satire yeah. on the like fine high, dining. high cuisine yeah, and yeah. fine dining, and he plays this chef who um, he starts getting upset that people don't like his his, yeah. his his food and his creations and he becomes so obsessed with his creations that he actually starts murdering his guests yeah. during the dinner as part of the art form. And and we you know we're like we're laughing it's a crazy movie but then as we get done I said you know that's kind of how I am about my Twitter <laughs> is that <laughs> is that people don't understand that that there there's there's a cadence and a flow yeah. and a rhythm to a good tweet that when you force it, when you jam it down somebody's yeah. throat, it, it, has, it has to float in a certain way to in order to be a good tweet versus a force meme. And so I'm like, I get it, <laughs> you know, I, I get what he's saying. And, and, uh, and But at the same time, you also have to understand that no one's ever truly gonna appreciate the, the sheer uh, amount of things that you put into because I might, you know, I might be trying to make a reference to, oh my gosh, it's, you know, uh, it, it could be anything from some obscure facet of Chinese history that I know about, or a Shakespearean play, or some Polish part, whatever, you know, and, and or, you know, reference, making a play on words of something that somebody mentioned in a congressional hearing that, unless you have all this background knowledge, it would just be totally lost to you. But, 
it's, it's sort of a real recognize this real kind of situation in which if you're a good tweeter, you can tell who else is a good tweeter and who isn't. And I've seen people as well who look at Twitter as just a video game. Yeah. And I'll, I'll even see people that they'll take down tweets if they don't do well and they, and they drop out. Because, but when I look at it, I say, no, no, why? Why would yeah. you do that? Because when each tweet should say something and should mean something, and if you're going to block somebody, by the way, even the blocking can then become part of it because, well, I'm going to block this person, and then they get mad, and then someone will ask you, why did you block that person? I said, and then you come back and say, well, I didn't block them you know, out of anger. No, 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 I blocked them out of respect for them as try to help them out a little bit to understand that maybe they should know their boundaries, maybe they should have said something better, uh, maybe they shouldn't have taken me out of context. This was, you know, there was a Poland tweet I had recently, a lot of people, oh, that was another one. When, uh, so when the missiles hit Poland a couple weeks ago, you mentioned tweets yeah. that, that got me in hot water. So there was, believe me, I got plenty of those. Um, and the missiles hit Poland, obviously my family uh, lives in that border region between Ukraine and Poland. And I said, if this was a deliberate attack it must on Poland, it must be responded by in blood, right? It must be repaid in blood. And I had people screaming, Jack Posobiec said to attack Russia. And I'm looking at my tweet, I said, I didn't even mention Russia in the tweet. Right. I didn't say anything about it. And then I have people accusing me of ethnic blood feuds and wow. all of these different things where I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm just standing up for Poland and you know, you're, you're going and accusing me of all these different things. This guy's a neocon and he's pushing all this stuff. But look, at the end of the day, I have a line personally, I do when it comes to Poland. I'm always going to have that line. But that doesn't mean I'm saying we have to commit U.S. Yeah. troops the way Biden's trying to, yeah. you know, all over here. It's just, you know, you, you, you got you to gotta put out. And if someone is going to attack two innocent people in a country that my people come from, then yeah, we're going to throw it out. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, and, and I think that's good to hold. We don't want our movement to be tribal as well. The left is very tribal. Yes. It's going to work for them. But, you know, I'm very much leaning where almost everyone in the movement is now with we're in too many wars we're spending too much money on wars of course. Uh, and but that doesn't mean i didn't like it when trump every once in a while would bomb some bad guy with a drone from a long way away mm -hmm. to show everyone he's crazy and he's willing to take force it, that's it's right his own hand if he needs to. that stuff has aged very well for his legacy which is a very peaceful legacy and so you know we can be circumspect for a second we can think a little bit I'm not saying we should have bombed Russia over what you just mentioned, but I am saying that it's good to challenge people and just say, don't just get into your lane exactly right. and stay there. You could sh switch lanes. Well, it's 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 uh, the Soleimani strike. I think yeah. is is sort of the the one that everybody goes back to. Soleimani, of course, the leader of the Quds Force, yeah. um, Iran's for lack of a better term, they're, they're top general. Yeah. I mean, in, in a way that we don't even have a general that's like that. I mean, there, there's no one you can even equate him to because he was a popular public figure in Iran, hugely important to the regime, yeah. also an operational commander, runs Quds Force uh, for the IRGC, and he was someone that, again, directly enabled and targeted the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad, as well as other U.S. areas, that, and Trump had said again and again and again, if you continue this, we will respond. Right. If you continue this, we right. will respond. Right. And then he just smokes him. Yeah. Just straight up yeah. smokes him and tweets a picture of the yeah. American flag. Right. Uh, straight gangster, right? Tony yeah. Soprano, right? I want a president like yes. that. Yeah. I want a president that's willing to say, look, I would prefer to be out of Iraq and I don't know yeah. why, I don't even know why we have people in Syria now. Right? I, mean, I know why, but right from, from a defending America perspective, yeah. what are they there for? But at the same time, if someone's gonna go after your guys in the field, you have to respond with an overwhelming, like you yeah. said, almost psychotic level yes. response yeah. and, and to that because to remind everybody else that that is the level to which we will take defending our country. And by the way, Russia, China, Iran, they would do the exact same thing if they could. Yeah, and, and it, very well stated, and it's exactly where my thoughts were on that particular incident as well. But a lot of people were like, can we do this? I mean, we don't like war. Well, actually, this wasn't just war. Right. This was an act of badassery. Right, it's, that's, right. That's it's, it's, not. it's an act of, it's an act of kind of, it's, it's, uh, there's, there's that line, uh, was the, the Christopher Walken, every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. Right, exactly. So, so talk to me about new Twitter. It's a, Musk has taken over. Give me your assessment of, I was talking to Charlie about this. He's over the moon. Personally, I think it's all very bittersweet because none of the stuff should have needed to come out, all these receipts we're getting. Um, but you're in the middle of it. What do you think? Give me your full assessment. 
Well, look, I mean, there's there's two takes of it, right? There's there's my take as someone who's an investigator and interested yeah. in finding out what exactly the FBI and DHS were up to. And again, look at the timeline, right? Everything that's been released in these Twitter files so far, it's, it's October, it's summer 2020, going into the fall, October, Hunter Biden laptop, this new thing about the tabletop exercise, which featured the Hunter Biden uh, release before it ever came out, which, you know, how did they know there would be something about Hunter Biden, which I, I think we all kind of know where that came right, from. Right. That, you know, because they knew that something was coming, they were looking at Giuliani, they were looking at, at Steve and other people that had access to it. So I think there's very clearly a Yoel Roth at every single one right. of these social media companies. Right, remind me who Yoel Roth is, because he's yeah. the top censor on Twitter. So Yoel Roth, he's the head of trust and safety. I call it the Ministry of Trust and Safety. Right. It's the most Orwellian name I've ever heard. Uh, Ministry of Trust and Safety, he's the head of this, and he's the one who's in these relationships with the FBI. And look, I gotta tell you, when, when, when Elvis Chan testifies in the Missouri case and says that he's building relationships with the tech, I, I know what an FBI agent means when he says he's building relationships. And you look at it, there's no open criminal investigation, there's no open counterintelligence uh, investigation, there's no named reason for, for the FBI to be doing these things. This is a counterterrorism guy, counterintel guy. Where's the operation? Where's the crime? What are you investigating? And, and you realize they've gone so far beyond their mandate, but because what you're looking at is a domestic intelligence operation being run on social media, being run on media, it's an op. The whole thing's an op. And that's why you actually can see on the FBI side, they're desperate to find some connection to any foreign entity because then it would give them the, imp the same imprimatur that the Steele dossier did in 2016 to justify going after Trump because they have to just find some way to justify going after the laptop. Exactly. You nailed it. Jack Posobiec, we could go on for I feel like another two or three hours, but I know you've been- This is what I do, man. Yeah, I, I know you've been out all day, uh, pressing the flag. By the way, man, gotta say, point. gotta say, very impressed with the stash. The stashes are coming back. It's very, it's very, it's, I'm going to say Magnum P.I. vibes, man. Yeah, that that was the goal. Magnum P.I., Selick. And the groom yes. beard is perfect for you, too. So a it's a bit, mutual a facial bit. hair admiration society. Amazing. Jack, always Absolutely appreciate amazing. your work. Appreciate you got a lot you, of fans in Breitbart Nation. Thanks, everyone.